What's going on? This is LeBron, aka Bully the Kid, and this is a Fender American Professional 2. Let's get into it. So at the, towards the middle, towards the end of this video, I'm actually be doing some sound clips, doing the uh, tone up, tone out, uh, running in the middle, seeing what it's capable of. This is a P bass, and um, it has that characteristic P bass growl, mid-range snappy type deal. But before we get into actually how it sounds like, let me tell you a little bit about how this thing is constructed. So on the back side of it, it has a uh, newly shaped heel on it it's extremely comfortable to grab extremely easy to get to the uh upper register of the fretboard i'm just holding it and i'm already here so that's really convenient uh, i don't have an extra little chunky piece just stopping you from doing what you need to do that was smart on their their part the uh back of the neck is really smooth ultra satin really really satin it's really really smooth and on the flip side the fretboard is actually a gloss type of a uh, fretboard. I don't know if it's coming across in the video, but it does have like a uh, lacquer type top on it. Backside, it has uh, newly designed uh, tuning pegs, which is kind of reminiscent of another brand. Uh, I think it looks really, really good on this bass. It's really cool. And uh, it holds tune very, very well. It's easily dial in and um, it holds tune. So, feels good as well. On the body of the bass, you have this this uh, this paint scheme, this colorway, which is extremely unique. Uh, I haven't really seen this on bass guitars. I've seen it on guitars, but uh, I think this is really, really dope, and uh, it works. The backside is string through the body and or string through the bridge and the bridge itself is a high mass uh, venture style bridge uh, pickups on this thing are Alnico 5 and also 2 so how I read this whenever I was doing a little research on the bass composition uh, the upper pickup here toward the low side has a more vintage tone and the and that's the Alnico 2 I believe and then the upper Register the these last strings here have the Alnico 5 so you have that vintage tone down low and you still have some crisp articulation up high and that's really cool so uh yeah I've talked I've talked a lot so let's get into how this thing sounds all right so let's go ahead and run through uh I'm gonna do a groove and I'm gonna do it in a few different positions and we're gonna check out how it sounds uh, by itself and then I'll later do something in the mix and see how that goes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Fender American Professional 2, the five string version. Uh, one more look at it. One thing that I didn't get, didn't say because I forgot was the uh, the neck is in the shape of a 63 P bass. So it has like a deep C type shape. It's real, uh, real sturdy. Feels real good. Uh, I kind of lost myself in the last groove. You might have seen me drift off. But um, yeah, it feels, it feels good. So did want to say that thank y'all for watching and uh y'all stay tuned for more content coming soon like subscribe and comment below what you think what did you like i did i flipped between the tones at 100 percent zero and 50. i didn't really you know go into the minutia of what this thing can do and for every little bit of volume the characteristics of the bass kind of changes a little bit so for the most part i went full 100 percent volume and then played with the tone knob and then I got a whole bunch of different type of feels and stuff, and that was pretty dope. So uh, you let me know which one sounded the best to you. Go ahead and mark that timestamp for, you know, what you were like, oh, yeah, that sounded good, or, eh, I didn't really like this at this timestamp. Y'all put that in the comments below. I love reading it. Uh, thank y'all for watching. One more time. Till next time, this is Alan Brown, a.k.a. Bully the Kid. Y'all be easy. I have a fender. Wow.